cave. This is day one of the Bolivia lion move. As you can see, we're painting the crates. We're persevering. We're, we're working into the night. And we'll have the uh, crates ready by Saturday morning. And at the very end of the row there, in the white hat, you'll see is, is Mel, our vet. And he's undoing all the uh, nuts and bolts that need to be opened up and checked. So we are almost on our way. Our flight is confirmed for Monday. We leave Cochabamba on Monday. We refuel at, um, in Colombia at Medellin. And we arrive in San Francisco at 5.30 on Monday night after eight months. We are very much looking forward to getting to San Francisco with these cats. Good morning, this is day two of the Bolivian lion and baboon rescue. We're here this morning in front of uh, Tillin's cage. Tillin is the Hamadras baboon and this morning he's going to be sedated so that our vet can finally remove the chain and metal collar that he's had um, all his life in the circus. So we've got a nice quiet time, we're early in the morning, he hasn't come out of his night quarters yet. Tillin will finally be free of his chains. He's not too fat, he's in good shape. Perfect shape, in fact. You can see where the, he's, he's lost all the hair where that chain rub is. Yes. Yeah. So I got a little piece of his ear missing right there. The rest of the rescue is going to according to plan for today. Things do set, tend to change on a day-to-day -day basis, but we do think that uh, we are all set still for Monday. Cage preparation is going well. Tillin's talking to us, don't know whether you can hear that, but he's got quite a lot of opinions on everything that goes on around him. So that's day two's update, and we'll see you tomorrow. are going quite well. This is our media day today. So we've taken the covering down from the front of the lion's enclosure um, so that the cameras can actually see the lions. We've had a very strict rule up until now that these animals aren't here for entertainment. And uh, we're driving forward to, until we get these animals into California and we get this rescue completed. Signing off now from Bolivia. Day three. Oh. Speak to you again tomorrow. This is day four of the Bolivia Lion Rescue, and unfortunately, we have had a bitter, bitter blow. We won't be flying tomorrow on Monday because, after months of organization of this flight, the authorities at Cochabamba Airport have discovered that they don't have the equipment necessary to load our cats onto the aircraft. We are absolutely devastated. Um, we are now frantically looking um, for all kinds of flights out of, uh, out of uh, Bolivia. We're looking at Santa Cruz. We're looking at the option of driving from here in Cochabamba for about 18 to 24 hours to Santa Cruz to get the uh, cats there for a flight. Um, I can't express enough how disappointed we all are. We were so excited, things were going so well, the crates came together so well. So we have about two and a half to three days to totally rearrange our travel and our permits and all of our documentation. A bitter blow. 
But all I can say to you is that we are very determined. The more obstacles we face, the more determined we are to leave. Hello, this is day five of the Bolivian Lion Rescue. Um, we're still battling away. We had a devastating blow when we couldn't get our flight out of Cochabamba. We've looked at all kinds of routes out of this country. Um, the only other option has been to fly from Santa Cruz, but that's an 18 to 24 um, hour truck journey through the mountains to Santa Cruz. The problem with that, I'm waiting for this truck to go by, the problem with that being it's mountain roads and there have been riots and roadblocks and sometimes there are um, avalanches blocking the road so we just don't know whether we could get to Santa Cruz in um, 18 hours. It would also mean that the lions would be in their crates for 18, 18 to 24 hours on the road, then another 12 hours on the flight and then another 4 hours to pause. So that is not a journey we want to do with these lions. So every pressure now is being put on to every airline company we can get hold of um, to try to find us a flight out of here. We've had a lot of media over the weekend and today and this evening we've got national television so that we can tell the Bolivian people what we're trying to do. There is a lot of interest in these animals and it's been very, very good in terms of the circus campaign generally, reasons why animals should be rescued and all of the publicity elements we want. So fingers crossed for a good flight out of Bolivia this week. Welcome to day six. We have a flight and we have a flight out of Cochabamba. So, Things are starting to turn around now, they're starting to go our way. Um, we're waiting for confirmation. We think it might be early Thursday morning. Um, they did want to do it in the afternoon, but we're absolutely begging for Thursday morning so that we can get to San Francisco at a reasonable time. And also, it'll be much cooler for the lions if we can move them in the early hours of the day. Day seven of the Bolivia Lion Rescue. We're here this morning. We've got the boys out, they're getting prepared. I'm afraid there's no food for the animals today because these lions now won't be eating again until they get to California. But our flight is booked. One o'clock this morning, we start loading these cats into their crates and we're off and away. Well, I'm here in San Francisco working with the Animal Defenders International San Francisco team and we've been on pins and needles waiting to get the go-ahead from Jan in Bolivia and I've just gotten off the phone with her and it looks like all systems are a go. Uh, Mel the vet has checked the crates and has checked the lions, everyone's doing well and I think that we're going to start boarding in a few hours. The San Francisco team has been ready for several days. Um, there's been a tremendous amount of anticipation. Of course, there's been some last minute challenges. But at the beginning of this whole adventure, uh, there's been a mountain of obstacles. Uh, it started with the volcano in Iceland. There was an airline strike in the UK. Um, there was strikes in Bolivia. Roadblocks went up, riots ensued. There's been just ginormous amounts of paperwork that need to get filled um, to get lions through two countries. Um, paperwork that you would anticipate when you're moving large cats, but uh, there's also been some human paperwork issues as well. And just tonight, getting off the phone with Jan, uh, we found out that the aircraft is broken down. So now we're hoping and, and wishing, like we've done almost every night about something, that the replacement aircraft arrives soon and that the Lions will indeed be in the air in several hours. In the past weeks, the incredible habitat for the lions at the Performing Animal Welfare Society Art 2000 Sanctuary here in California has been completed. The lions will have individual dens, feeding areas, and most importantly, will be able to roam in a large natural enclosure. 
ADI has paid for this enclosure and will pay for the care of these animals for the rest of their lives. Remember when we first saw these lions, they were living in a rusting cage on the back of a truck with a traveling circus in Bolivia. In 48 hours, they will feel the grass beneath their feet for the first time ever. For the past week, the ADI team here in San Francisco has been working out of a hotel, completing the paperwork and getting ready for the move. Every day, they get the video footage and photographs from Jan and the team in Bolivia and edit it for online updates and for the media. Each day, the media teams in Bolivia and the USA are sending out news alerts in English and Spanish. ADI will need to care for these animals for the rest of their lives, and we hope that will be a long time. So we are launching an adoption scheme to raise money for the care of the lions. And today, our team is hitting the streets of San Francisco promoting the scheme. Out of San Francisco airport, we have assessed the site where the lions will arrive. We'll be unloading them, checking that they are okay, giving them a good solid drink of water, and then they'll be loaded onto a truck for the journey to their new home at ARC 2000. Good morning. This is the last day of the uh, Bolivia Lion Move. We've got the crates ready. They've built the tunnels through to the crate. The lorry is here. The police are here. The road has been blocked off. We've got our police es escort. Everything is in place to make our way to the airport. And through here is Kamba. And Camber is hopefully going to be running into this cage in a few moments and she'll be our first lion to be loaded. So good luck for a quick loading for Camber. <laughs> She's the first one in. She's in her crate and uh, she's, she's settled down nicely, got very excited about all the people around her and went into the crate quite tentatively. But she's in and she sat, sat down and she's settled. So, one down, three to go. Here we are, we're finally at the airport. All our lions are loaded onto their trucks. We've just arrived. We had a police es escort as we came through the town. Amber's a little bit agitated, but the boys are calling out and speaking to each other. So I think they've all settled down. And uh, our plane is late. We apparently have about an hour's wait, but we're here. We're finally at the airport and they are almost in the USA.
Okay, uh, Somebody parks in the market place and let off exterior lights. Off, off. And as yet, lights check before take off checklist complete. We have received news that the Lions are finally on their way. They were boarded very early this morning in Bolivia uh, onto the back of a truck where they headed off to the airport. Uh, the guys did really well. Camba was a little nervous and then she settled down. Uh, when they arrived at the airport, the replacement aircraft had not shown up. Uh, the first aircraft had a hydraulic failure and so everyone got very nervous for a time as to whether they were going to take off, but the aircraft indeed did arrive. Um, and I've just received word from Jan. Uh, they've stopped in Panama to refuel and uh, she sent some photos as well, although she looks very, very exhausted. The cats are doing great. Uh, they got some water and they're finally sleeping and relaxed. And we want to thank the country of Panama for being willing to let everybody stop over there briefly. And it seems like in a matter of hours, maybe four or five, we're going to be at San Francisco International. This is the home stretch and it's happening. We couldn't be more thrilled. Panama City, on the, we're on the last leg of the lion flight. Very frustrating that we can't get the internet here to get the photos and video off to you. We'll be hoping the team of Bolivia can do that for us. So we'll be arriving in San Francisco at 9.30 p.m. this evening. Very much looking forward to it. The cats have um, traveled quite well. Uh, the boys have mostly slept. Camber uh, paced about a, a bit, but she is sleeping now, and they were quite thirsty when we stopped. So they've had another good drink. And they're all doing well and looking forward to getting to California. really well. We're feeling very well. We were very, very tired on the um, on the plane, but uh, once we started getting here, you know, the adrenaline took over and we were really excited. And this one got really excited. They all started running around and no. uh, growling and roaring. Yeah, yeah. so oh, it kind yes. of like they knew something was about to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm completely exhilarated. I can't believe this. And, and they're here. It happened and they're doing very well. This is Bombeck. It's a miracle. Well, now uh, the Lions have had a chance to have some water and to sing to each other. They all know that they're here safely on the ground. We're going to start boarding them up and getting them ready for the drive to pause. Our 2000, we've called Pat. She's going to go back to bed for a little while. And when we get close, we're going to call her. And uh, the Lions will be delivered tonight. in the morning on this beautiful, beautiful Friday. The Lions and most of the ADI team have just arrived here at our 2000 pod. We're making arrangements now to get them in the pens overnight. And uh, in the morning, they're gonna meet some grass.
Well, all the lions have leaves in their fur, in their hair, in their mane. You can see behind us, uh, all four are finally out. Kamba decided to go first. Um, we waited for a while for the boys, and she, she's out. She's lured them out, and everyone's pretty much all over the moon as they explore this territory. Of course, we understand they're exhausted because they played ferociously for several hours after they got out of their pens this morning, and they managed to save up a little more energy to, to walk around right now for us. Joined the rest of the ADI, excuse me, I've joined the rest of the ADI team in lack of sleep. I think I'm running on two hours at this point. Uh, I've definitely gotten more sleep than anybody else here. And uh, Pat might have to drag me off the property to see when it's time to go. I think uh, I might just stay here for a while. Here we are back again with the lions two months after the move from Bolivia and they've all settled in extremely well. They're very well behaved. They've got a, a new friend, another lion, and they're happy and contented and they're now roaring across the valleys every morning and apparently the neighbours very much enjoy the morning lion song. All four lions are fit and well. Ductari was found to have a shellfish parasite. He'd had parasite treatment when he was in um, Bolivia, um, but he still seemed to be not quite right when he arrived here. And after some tests, it was found it was a shellfish uh, parasite, so not something that would normally have been found. But he's much better now. All of our rescued lions are enjoying the sunshine here. They've got a water sprinkler to keep them cool on the hottest days. Sheba, a 20-year-old lioness from Paws, has been moved into the enclosure next to Kamba in the hope that the two females can become friends. Now we need your help to care for these lions for the rest of their lives. 
please contact us to find out about our adoption programme.